today's Sherry Spotlight goes to the top-ranked B-Girl in America. She, yes, she has competed at Breaking's most prestigious events, and now she's working her way to the Olympics in Paris next summer. Oh, my goodness. So please welcome Sunny Choi. Sunny! Okay, now, Sunny, you've been a B-Girl for 15 years, all right? What, what got you interested in Breaking? So I was actually a gymnast as a kid. I started when I was three years old. I actually saw the Olympics and okay. I wanted to be an Olympian. Things didn't work out. I get to college, I was lost. And I literally like stumbled into some people dancing on, on, on campus. And I was like, all right, let me try this. They're upside down, this looks fun. <laughs> and so I went and I just, I just got hooked after that. Oh my gosh, you fell in love with it. <laughs> now, this is what I, when you say you got to college, you got lost. Like, you are Ivy League educated. You were director for one of the top beauty brands. And you left it all to breakdance. Like, what was it about breakdancing that you left your entire life? I mean, well, there's a couple things here. One of them is just that I have always done what I was supposed to do, but never what I really wanted to do in life. So this is the first time I'm really pursuing my own passions and doing what I want to be doing in life. So. That part is really big for me, but also breaking is just like so healthy for everything, mind, body, and soul. It's about connecting with people. It's about like learning who you are and how you express yourself. And then like physically, I mean, I got to train. So, yes. you know, it keeps me in shape. So, I mean, it's just, there's so much in the package for breaking for me that just makes it perfect. Is that what you told your parents after they paid the bill for the <laughs> Ivy League college? Did their face look like mine when you was explaining all of that? Yes, yes, actually, <laughs> exactly that. <laughs> So now breaking was this big underground sport. I remember watching it when I was younger. Now it's in Paris 2024 mm -hmm. Olympics. Mm -hmm. You know, I How do you even qualify for the team? So, I mean, there's a whole like Olympic circuit of events, okay. some national, some international. You go, you get points, you qualify to go to other events. So, I'm on team USA cuz I qualified international circuit. Okay. <laughs> um but there's other qualifying events to get to the Olympics. So, for example, I'm going to the Pan Am Games. I'll be competing in about a week All right. to qualify, hopefully, for the Olympics. And if not, we'll have trials next year, so. Okay, I'm just, like, the, the visuals are so amazing to me. So, like, how do you even train for the competition to get ready? I mean, I used to just show up and throw myself at the floor. <laughs> I don't do that anymore. <laughs> Um, and now I have a coach who's working with me on strength and conditioning, so I see her three times in person plus some extra workouts. Okay. I also go to dance practice, obviously, several times a week. I do yoga. Um, I see a therapist because mental health is important. Uh -huh. um, and yeah, I mean, it's just everything has changed for all of us, actually, going to, going for the Olympics. Well, congratulations <laughs> to you, and, and we are praying that you make it, girl. So, like, this is such a male-dominated field, breaking. So what's it like being a woman in this field? It's not the easiest thing in the world, and I've had to fight for a lot, including yeah. respect as a woman. Yeah. But honestly, it's been so rewarding. And one of the things that's important to me is like paving the pathway for other women and children yeah. who want to make it in this world. I hope to open a dance center in the future and just kind of pass all that yeah. on because breaking has given me so much. You know, it's allowed me to like find my happiness and find me. Right. So, That's how I feel yeah. doing stand-up comedy. <laughs> but like, it's such a male-dominated feel, but I can see when I get the respect from the men. Mm -hmm. So can you see that when they're, they're like, oh, yes. oh, yeah. yeah, it's got Absolutely. a good feeling. Yeah, it feels so good. Okay. <laughs> well, can you show us some of your moves on oh, the floor? Man. All right, well then let's go. <laughs> A couple of your moves, like somebody like that me could do. Don't get all ambitious. Huh? All right, we'll start with the backflip. Okay, good. no backflips. All right. All right, so we're gonna start with a step across here. Uh huh. And then to the other side, like that. Yep. Okay. And so you step to the right. Right there. Yep. Uh huh. And to the left. Uh huh. And then we're gonna spin. And then spin. Yeah. Okay, so that's like the music, old days. Right? All right. All right. Five, six, seven, eight. Cross. Cross to the right. Yep. To the left. And then spin. Then spin. There you go. All right. Now we're gonna go. <laughs> All right. Okay. I think we're I can go, go down. We're gonna so go, go down. Do 
footwork right here. All right, okay. You put your hand on the floor and put kick my hand on the floor. to the side. Oh, and then do that. Yeah, there you go. Like that. And then, and then do we're that. gonna freeze. Like that. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> All together. Ready? Oh, Lord, we're gonna put Good it all music. together. Ready? Go. Five, six, seven, eight. Step, cross. And then across to the right. And to the left. Spin. And down. And down. Oh, oh, my God. I love it. Sunny. I want to thank you for being here. Sunny, this was so much fun, and we know you are going for the gold in France, but I don't care. We are giving you the gold at Sherry. So here